Come on in, sisters. Bring your, come on in. Bring your drinks and your food. Come on in, because your hood girl is coming in right now. Right now, hey, right now, right now, we coming on in with you. Come on in, come on in, come on in, y'all. I'm taking my seat, hey, y'all ready? Because this food smells so good. Y'all see what we eating? Something different. Y'all already know a new movie. Mm-hmm. On this hump day. Mm-hmm. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food, snacks, or sit and chat with who? Me, this hood girl to the hood. Y'all, we have a brand new movie. It is fried fish, cucumbers. I have a few fried shrimp as well. Uh, this is December, a couple of days from Christmas. This is, oh, scene one, take one. Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? I was craving some fish, y'all, for two days. I went to the fresh market today, and I did. I got me some fish, and I fried it. So, y'all, take a piece. Take whatever you want. I got two more pieces in the back. Yeah, I didn't cook the whole fish. We have a few shrimp right here. We have uh, some cucumbers, some on, I mean, yellow bell pepper, and red onion in this bowl so here take what you want out of this bowl you can definitely have some take it what you want because we about to dig in y'all we have hot sauce and we have some ketchup so let's say prayers we're going to toast and we're going to dig in because my fish is hot thank you god for this another day father god your birthday is coming and i am ready to honor you more Thank you for loving us and keeping us, blessing us with blessings that we see and what we don't see. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, y'all, today is my Friday. I don't go back to work until January the 4th. So, I got my drink, my cocktail on hump day with my fish. So, salute. Salut. Oh no, let's toast. Uh for a good hum day night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hum hum. Hum hum. Salute. Salute. Let's sip sip this good hood stuff. Yes. Cheers, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all see I already have been drinking it right. <laughs> Without ado. I want um y'all know I like to mix my ketchup and house house together. Y'all let me uh do this a timer. So, I know y'all just seen my other video with the job. I got it. Mm -hmm. I don't know when they're going to transfer me over. Uh, my boss said uh, maybe uh, in the next pay period. So, sometime in January. Y'all, I am so ready to eat. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Bell pepper is good, but my favorite is red. There you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I wanted to fry this food, and I don't like frying in my apartment, but I was like, what the hell? So my neighbor told me if I can put some vinegar, I can put some vinegar in that oil, and it'll take the smell away. This is hot. Mm. 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 Y'all try that? I'm so sorry. Damn. That is fried. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I went to the market today. Damn. I went to the fresh market today. You know, we got, we got eight. We got, um... Eight buildings, right? Everybody, I mean, it was so, so, it was so, so full. Everybody was in there. Every one of them. It was full. I had to wait like a, almost an hour 
just for my fish. People had their coolers, okay? Everybody was talking about gumbo. Everybody was fixing gumbo for Christmas, so they was all in there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good and hot. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. And y'all, you know, I ain't do anything different. Salt, pepper, and Old Bay garlic and herb. That's it. Oh, uh-uh. Y'all, where my, where my meat went? Mm-mm. I want this fish. It's on the counter, y'all. Not on the floor. I got a lot of my bones. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I want this fish. And no, I'm not pregnant. Mm. Damn. I'm good and crunchy, too. It's a uh, redfish, y'all. I like redfish. Yeah, you know, yesterday they buried my one of my favorite aunties. This is her, y'all. That's my Aunt Hillies that y'all hear me talking about. She has gained her wings. And um all of us took some flowers from her casket. Y'all, and here go uh, some that I brought home as well. Mm hmm So, uh, it was so beautiful. And look here. My ex-mother lived next door to her. And I saw him at the funeral. He hugged me so tight. I was like, yeah, you can let me go. There was one jealous man. Mm. I told you I don't do jealousy. That jealousy stuff will kill you. He said, it's so good to see you. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's getting older. So... Um, before we left for the funeral, I mean, from the funeral, you know, they had, um, to go place, you know, that's what they're doing now. We had to go to this door and pick up a plate. It was chicken, green beans, roll, and, uh, um, uh, potato salad. It was awful. That wasn't the, the funeral food that was uh, in our lives a long time ago. I don't know who did that food, but it was awful. Awful. My sister called me and said, Sister, you can eat that food? No. Those uh, green beans. Y'all know what putting the food tastes like, right? Back in the day. I think they poured it out of a can. None of them looked the same. There were so many different sizes and different greens and color of green. And I'm like, mm mm. Mm mm. I'm like, uh uh. Me and my sister said, uh, me and my sister said, it must be from a pantry, right? And you know, I don't know why she keep calling me. She know I, I, I record at this time, so she's going to have to just wait. So look here. It was awful. I couldn't eat it. Mmm, look at that. It's hot. Oh, where's hot? Look, where's hot? <laughs> That's so flaky inside, y'all. Look at that. So anyway, I don't know who cooked that food. It was not pleasing at all. Me and my sister said uh, it was awful. Mm. Fish is so good when it's hot, y'all. Dang. Mm. And so, after the end, you know, I came on home. I was hungry too, y'all. 
I was like, what can I cook real fast? So I don't have to, I don't want to thaw nothing out. So I did some two fried eggs, some grits and toast. And that was good enough. I got some bread right here. I thought I wanted some bread for my fish, but I just want the fish. I don't really even want some shrimp, y'all. But I had something to tell y'all. Oh. So, of course, y'all know when, when your family dies, just some, you know, people want to know what they're going to get. I don't understand that. So, they're fighting for the house. I don't know what they're going to do. That's not my battle. I just pray that they do the right thing together. Mm-hmm. So, my auntie said she leave them to her grandchildren. Sell the house, divide the money, make it easy. Somebody said keep the house. It's a family house, but... It's an old house. They're going to have to put some money in it. Before it piles down. So let's talk about this. Oh. We were talking about the jealous ex-boyfriend. So y'all. I'm at work right today. Why he sent me a, a, a message. Uh, a private, a, a private, a DM message on um, Facebook, and this is what it said. It was so good to see you. You are so beautiful, still. I'm like, but thank you. It was good to see you too. I was uh, did you move back to Houston? I said outside of Houston. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to tell you a whole lot of nothing. So he said, Again, you look good if you want some relaxation or some company. You know, I'm available. I said, That's okay. I think I'm doing really wonderful at this moment in my life. So he came back and said, Wait a minute, y'all. I'm going to mm -mm. He came back and he said, um, Well, I really do miss you. Maybe we can try. No. No. I don't even have to think about it. No. Y'all. We could have had a, we could have been married right now because we, we were really good together, right? But his jealousy, he was so crazy jealous. I'll never forget one time I took him to my church. I invited him to go to church with me, to my church. And when we got back home to my house, we didn't live together. That fool said, I know you got a boyfriend at your church because I saw how those men were looking at you. What men? What? Men wasn't thinking about me. I don't know what the hell you was looking at. I went on. And uh, -uh so I asked him to leave. We're not going to do this. Because you're a fool. Your own insecurities is going to just demolish what we can have. Bye. Bye. He kept calling my phone. Calling my phone. I just had to turn my phone off. I am not going to entertain it's just a few a few things I will not un entertain. Nonsense is my number one. Uh-uh. So, 
I have to turn my phone on because you know I, I was I was working and I like to set my alarm. Three o'clock in the morning. He called. Like a fool, I answered the phone. Hello, hello. That fool say. So you was dodging my call, so you was with one of them men from the church. I didn't even give him an answer. I feel like I hung up my phone. And I turned it down. Because I did need my alarm. That boy called all the way to 6 o'clock in the morning. That's the day I ended it. We can't talk no more. I don't want to see you no more. And when you see me in the house, don't come bothering me. He did one time. My auntie said, and I had told my auntie what happened. The one that died, she said, when he came in here, she said, Juanita and um, I ain't going to say his name. Don't y'all start that in here. One thing, ladies and gentlemen, when you're just dating or kicking it, when you see a sign of insecurity and jealousy, you got to leave. And don't even let it manifest. That's just a ugly, it, that, that is an ugly, evil thing. I, I know I said this in uh, my first videos when I was talking about my life and my story. Why I went off, y'all, but I got to finish this right now. I had a dude I was dating. He was one jealous man. And then we have a we have a bridge here called the Ship Channel Bridge, and it, it is huge, and that's why all the ships come and go from the port. That man was so freaking jealous. He took me to that bridge, y'all, and he said, "I am going to throw you over this bridge and send you to hell, and then I'm gonna die with you and go to hell with you before I see you with another man." That's what jealousy does if it's not under control. So he was after that. So the first sign of that jealousy, boy, you got to go. You can't stay with me. And I, I'm still like that right now today. That's why I take my time to date. Not just date, but to know you. Who, who are you? Who is your mommy and your daddy? Are they still married? And when they divorced, were they angry with each other? How was your bringing up? You know, how many times have you been married? I want to know. I want to know. Because today, jealousy don't just kill. It'll cut you up and eat you too. <laughs> don't do jealousy, y'all. Don't do it. I really didn't want this shrimp. I got one more fish that, uh, fish that I'm going to eat. But y'all, we're going to have to finish this conversation. But I'm going to leave this like this. Don't tolerate jealousy ever. Because it never changes. I don't care how many times somebody going to apologize. Don't do it. So look here, y'all. We got to sing ourselves out. <laughs> Y'all going into the uh, holiday, Christmas, you know, just praise God because it's his birthday. It's not everybody else's birthday. It's just his. So don't forget to praise him and thank him and worship him. Okay? So, y'all, salute. And y'all know a uh, red fish is meaty, so I was trying to swallow. Let's see. <laughs> It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. I'm going to my sister's tomorrow. We'll be eating nachos, she said. 
I will be doing a video at her house as well. But I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for sticking and staying and coming back each and every day. Don't forget to thumbs me up, like, and comment. I love y'all. Please be safe, okay? Oh, y'all, we need to do like a Zoom meeting for for um, New Year's Eve. If I mean, you know, those who are single, that is. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I love y'all. Bye-bye.